So Dan came to Rice with this amazing idea of taking a device called the Microsoft HoloLens and applying it to ecology and conservation because it had never been used in that capacity before. And it's this a wearable device that allows you to scan um, areas and Dan applied this to understory tropical forest vegetation, which is something that's really hard to study. It was my first crack at software engineering, um, putting together an application for the device. The mesh is like starting to appear here on these plants. Very new, very different, but fortunately on the internet there's so many tools for um, software and coding and uh, I mean that's what I rely on for most of my job anyway, so it was, it was um, only like a small step uh, making that jump to a new sort of program and uh, putting that together. So this is a new technology that Dan's bringing to bear for ecology and conservation. Uh, and it's, it's in lieu of traditional field surveys where you would go out with a measuring tape um, and a big old um, stick and some field gear and do some kind of old fashioned measurements of the vegetation that's there. That takes a lot of time, costs a lot of money to have, you know, spend more time out there. It definitely speeds up the process. It gives you a more comprehensive picture of what's happening in the understory. You can go back, uh, since it like saves as a scan, you can go back anytime you want. If you have like a new question, a new understory variable that you're interested in looking at, you can just go to the scan that you have saved on your computer and you'll have that data point even if it wasn't what you were measuring in the first place, which I also think is uh, likely going to be pretty useful. Broadly speaking, what we're really interested in is understanding what influences tropical wildlife um, and also uh, trying to understand their basic ecology so that we can contribute to conservation efforts given that tropical forests have some of the most species in the world, uh, but they face a lot of threats from forest loss, habitat change, and climate change as well as as human hunting. So it's always something that I've been really interested in is trying to use technology uh, for conservation and for the environment and it's just there's like such a wealth of new technology and innovation that's going on every day and finding ways to use that uh, I think hopefully for something good for conservation for uh, environmental research. 